Hello everyone, welcome to my class. Today, inshallah, we're going to start studying the first lesson in Integrate Math 2, which is talking about domain range and end behavior. You always can find my lesson on my website, alpharamath.com, as you can see here. Okay, now, uh, as we can see here, we have an essential question saying, how can you determine the domain range and end behavior of a function? That's what we're going to learn today. Okay, first, let's start with the types of interval. So as we can see here, an interval, the definition, okay, the definition of an interval is a part of a number line without any breaks. So when we have a line or a graph without any breaks, let's say like a circle or something like this, so we call this one as in the interval. Okay, now, then we have two things that we need to know, which is the finite and infinite okay or infinite or finite so the fi finite interval has two endpoints which is may or may not be included in the interval okay so which means we can have two endpoints for the finite just keep this one in your mind then the infinite okay infinite interval is unbounded at one or both ends so as you can see, infinite always has maybe one end point. Okay, maybe this point is included or excluded. Okay, like this example here. So read the example. The interval or real numbers greater than or equal to one is x greater than or equal one. Okay, the interval or real number less than five is x less than five. Okay. Another example for the finite, okay, interval is Orient number between negative 5 and 1, inclusively or negative 5 less than x less or equal less than a or equal 1, okay? So just to memorize or recall some stuff that we needed already, okay? Before we go start with this one. We need just to re-explain something. So before we start, first we have the inequalities that we already learned, which is the greater than or less than, and also we have a greater than or equal or less than or equal. Okay. So do you remember in the graph? In the graph, when we need to include the points, we use the closed circle. Okay. And when we have a graph with with excluded value we use the open circle. So for the included value is the closed circle and for the excluded value is the open circle, okay? So now if I need to graph, let's say a linear function, so with a two endpoints, so my first point should, uh, example should be here and the other one should be here. So this is my example for two endpoints. Or we can say that one endpoint and the other is the infinite. That's that's just an example. We will see more in details in the next. And when we have only the open circle, we use the open circle for, let's say, two points with open. So what's the difference between this one here and this one here? So what's the, this one means this point and this point are included with the value. So we take them as in consideration. But in this one here, the open to circle that means this number or this value and this value are not included with the other value in between so which means my border will be this number and this number and all the internal value are included so we call this two circle or this two number excluded value okay same thing if we have an example of with the infinite so let's say this one also so this value is in excluded and all other value are included okay now, let's take some examples or some description here. So as you can see here, the table shows how to use set notation and interval notation. So the description. So first of all, here, all real numbers from A to B, including A, a and B, which is, we call this one the finite. So the first one, we are going to uh, write the domain or and the range in three different ways. The first one is the inequality. The second one is the set notation. The third one is the interval notation. As you can see, the inequality, which is represented by A, A is just a number. Okay, B is just another number. 
Okay, so A is less than or equal X, less than or equal B. Same thing, this is as in quality. And the set notation is similar, if you look here, it's similar to the in quality, except we just add the fancy bracket on the both other side, okay? Then we have the third one, which is the interval notation. So the interval notation, always there is no X and there is no in quality, okay? So we don't use these two in the interval notation. We just use the number that they are included and exclude. So as you can see in the second one, which is all real numbers greater than A, greater than A, okay? Just focus on this, greater than A. So greater than A means, in first, in the inequality, we have X or we can call this one all real number greater than A, okay? And in set notation, we can say it all real number greater than A. And here, all, as you can see, we're from A to all positive value. Okay, if we look here the, to the bracket, here the bracket in this equation, the bracket here are rectangular bracket, but the, recta but the bracket here are like a normal or a circle bracket. Okay, what's the difference? Do you remember what we said here about the, the closed circle and the open circle here? So do you remember these? Okay, so when we use for the closed circle, we use always we use the rectangular bracket. What's that mean? The, that's mean this value are included, okay, with the other value. But when we have an upper circle or when we have inequalities without equal, so we use the circle a bracket, okay? So we use the circle bracket for the open circle and we use the closed bracket or rectangle bracket for the closed circle. So as you can see, so this, the first one means my graphing will be closed points, okay? Here my graphing will be open points. Okay, here, number three, all real numbers less than or equal to A, okay? Less than or equal to A. So as you can see here, because there is less than or equal, so my points, it will be closed point it will not be open point and my inequality it will be maybe this one or this one it depends on the questions okay with an equal sign here because he just said greater than he didn't mention the equal so my inequality will be without an equal and this one will be open circle okay now let's continue for the infinite so inequality is x less than or equal a same thing for the set notation and for the interval notation, check the bracket now. So as you can see here, it's saying all real number less than or equal A. So because we have less than or equal A, so that's why we use the rectangle, uh, sorry, the rectangle bracket, okay? Okay, why we use, why we use the open bracket or circle bracket for the infinite? Always for the infinite, okay? And for the negative infinite, for the positive infinite or negative infinite, always we use the circle or the normal bracket. We don't use at all the, let's say, the rectangle bracket for the infinite. Always we use only the circle bracket or the normal one. We don't use the rectangle bracket, okay? So as you can see here, I just explained everything, okay? Using the graph, okay, you can read them. You can pause the video and read. Now let's take this example. Okay, now it's saying complete the table by writing a finite interval shown on each number line as an inequality using set notation and interval notation. Now let's start with the first question. So now we have the finite interval. So as you can see here, we have this function, okay, which is with a close to complete circle. So if we need now to find the inequality for this one, and we have two closed circles. First of all, the domain here, as you can see, okay, the domain here, as you can see, is starting from negative three. So because this one is negative three, from negative three to number two. So as do you remember the inequality? We use the inequality and x and less than two. If you look here, they are closed circles. So we are going to use 
equal sign. Okay. For the let's say for take the inequality for the second equations here. So as you can see, the first point here is a close, the second one is open. So when I need to write here this negative three, so now negative three and here is two. So when I have I write the inequality, so this one will be like this, and the other one will be equal. Why is equal? Because it's closed circle. Why there is no equal the first one? Because it's open circle. So. Now let's take the set notation. I told you the set notation similar to the inequality, but we just add the fancy bracket only. Okay, and we add the x such that. So negative three less than or equal x less than or equal two. So we just take this one and put it here with this. Same thing, we do the same thing here, which is x and negative three less than x less than or equal two with the fancy bracket. Okay, now for the interval notation, I told you we don't include the x's, we don't include the inequalities, we just include the domain itself, which is only two numbers with comma. Okay, so the numbers here are negative three, comma, and two. So what type of a bracket are uh, they rectangle or circle? And we are going to use the rectangle bracket because the circles are closed. Here in this, this here, in this example here, we use negative three and two with the close bracket at two and open a bracket for negative three because it's open circle and here is a closed circle. Okay. Let's take another example. So as you can see here, let's go through fast on this question. We need completing. So as you can see here, we have the inequality. The inequality here, we have only one endpoint. We don't have two endpoints. So the, this endpoint, which is represented by two, so now this one is two, okay? And the inequality, so all the value here are in the negative, which is less than two. So my value will be less than two. And are we going, we are going to use the equal sign because the circle is closed. So now two and all the value, because this one is infinite, there, there is no two at the other end point. It's only one end point. So we are going to use only X, which is represent all of this line with this. So always when we have an arrow with one end point, so we just write the inequality as X represent the arrow which is represent the value, okay, starting from the point, okay? So this is the inequality for the first one. What about this one here? Still, same thing, but here we just use two, okay? Here the value are greater than two, right? Because we are going to the right. So now greater than two, okay? Greater than two x. Oh, sorry, two less than x, which is all the value greater than, okay, greater than two. And we are not going to use here a negative, uh, let's say, we are not going to use the equal sign because uh, the circle is open. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, here in this question, we have a mistake. Okay, let's fix this mistake. So here we said all the value less than two, but this one, all the value greater. So now let's change the inequality to the other side. So it will be like this, okay? Now let's go to the set notation. So the set notation, it's similar to the inequality, but with just the fancy bracket, x, and we just add this here, same thing, x less than two. And on the other questions, so we put the fancy bracket with x such that two less than x. Okay. Now let's do the interval. Interval, no x's, no bracket, just the value. So we use from here two, okay, because two is a greater value than all the other values. So from this, all value are in negative. So this is negative infinite because there is no end. Always the arrow represent infinite. Okay, so negative infinite to number two. Okay, and with the number two will be closed and there is no closed or rectangular bracket for the infinite, always a circle one. For this one here, here is a two is the least the least value and all the other value on the right side here are greater than two. So that's mean, all the numbers here are positive because they are greater than two, okay? So positive infinite, okay? 
positive infinite which is my value and here the circle and the two will be also the circle because the circle here is open okay now let's take this reflect so as you can see consider the interval shown on the number line so let's say we have this interval so there is no closed point no end point no open point or anything okay now let's just start solve the questions okay first question represent the interval using the using interval notation so to represent the interval using interval notation because this one there are no end point which is go to the right forever go to the left forever so from negative infinite to positive infinite okay what the numbers are in the in interval what are the number from negative infinite to all the positive infinite, for sure it's all real numbers no accepted so what's the difference between these type of interval okay what makes difference and what's the comment so as you can see here this is a rectangle this is rectangle circle bracket this is two circle bracket so as we can see when we have a rectangle bracket we include these two values when we have one is rectangle one is a circle so zero is included value but five is excluded when we have two circle bracket both value are excluded that's what we explained here okay then the last one the symbol you represent union of two sets what do you think the notation negative infinite zero union zero plus uh, two positive infinite so this is also easy questions so as you can see here we include all negative value and at the zero is excluded okay and two positive infinite why is it's zero is excluded because it's a circle a bracket here so if we remove this one we will get only a number except number zero okay now here is your turn to finish the questions let's stop here for today uh, we are going to continue inshallah for next time see you Bye.